I'm joined by undefeated heavyweight Huey Fury. How are you, Huey? I'm good, thanks, Kerry. How are you? Very well, mate. You are looking slick. Nice little, little bit of stubble going on there. The hair's in place. You're looking on it today. Yeah, I feel good. feel great. Ready to rock and roll. Um, obviously, we're waiting on huge news, uh, which hopefully is announced in the next few days that you will take on Joseph Parker for the WBO heavyweight crown. Uh, well, this is it for you, isn't it? Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Hopefully, we'll have some good news in the next few days. And uh, this is the big fight. These are the fights what I wanted and now I finally got. So I now just can't wait to let me first do the talking and everyone can see. Frank Warren was talking about potentially getting that fight over here. Um, has there been talk, obviously, of both options of that fight being here and you having also to travel to New Zealand to potentially have that fight? Yeah, definitely. It doesn't bother me where it's going to be. At the end of the day, it's, if, it's, if it's there, I fought away before, so don't bother me. It's, at the end of the day, it's a fight, and I'm going to take it with both fans wherever it's going to be. Absolutely. What did you make of, obviously, Joseph Parker winning the world title um, against Andy Ruiz Jr.? Um, again, this was another fight you was linked with last year. Uh, what did you make of him winning that title, uh, first of all? Yeah, listen, uh, he'd done his job, he'd done what he had to do. Uh, it was a close fight. Um, but listen, uh, I think Joseph Park is a very good fighter. You can't really just go off that one fight with him because uh, Andy Ruiz, he wasn't no mug. I was supposed to fight him as well. But uh, we'll see. Styles make fights, but uh, I'm r confident that I'm going to beat him and take his title back. Is there some sort of, somewhat of a question mark still over Joseph Parker that we don't quite know how good he is yet? Yeah, he's young as well. He's still got a lot to learn as well uh, as well as me. But uh, he's uh, he's a young fighter, and but like I said, I think he's probably one of the best fighters out there at the minute. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting fight. Last time we caught up with you in Scotland, obviously there was the the Deontay Wilder fight uh, somewhere in the pipeline. There, uh, he's obviously taking another fight next month. Um, what, what happened there? We spoke a little bit to your, uh, Peter, your dad, earlier on, but what happened there from your perspective? Um, I want to have a clue. I thought the fight was like, I'm close to getting made and I was happy taking that fight, but uh, obviously I want to have a clue, to be honest with you. It went sideways and now we're just uh, going with the WBO route and uh, that's what I'm happy with anyway, so I'm happy with that fight. Hopefully I'll get made and uh, that's it. D the new WBO champion. But the fact that your name is now finally being uh, linked with the likes of Joseph Parker and obviously Deontay Wilder, it shows you where you've come in your career. Yeah, definitely. It's where I was in the past. I've obviously had a lot of uh, ill-ash, like mental, like, I wouldn't say mental, but like body issues with health issues and that. So now they're all behind me and uh, it's the right time for me. Before I was under, like, I was under the low, but now I'm just ready to uh, come out. And obviously 2017, can we potentially see you and your cousin Tyson, obviously, you know, trying to take over the heavyweight division? That's the plan, for me and Tyson to, to rule the heavyweight division. That's, that's always been the dream, to be honest with you, for us both to take over. But uh, hopefully Tyson will shape his ass up and uh, we can both uh, do that. And he will do. So all that video of him trying to uh, jump that fence the other day, uh, didn't end too well for Tyson. I know, I think he was definitely a bit over his head there. <laughs> no, maybe next time. Let him lose a bit more weight. <laughs> Just finally, Huey, obviously this is a huge year for Box Nation, the link up with BT Sport, more exposure uh, for fighters, and it's great all round, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. There's, uh, there's some great prospects there this morning uh, with BT, and Frank Warren's got some good fights and there's going to be some exciting uh, events going to be happening. I'm, I'm even looking forward to them, so uh, I can't wait for this to happen now. So especially my big fight's coming up, and hopefully after that we we'll get some more. All right, well, listen, thank you very much, Huey, for talking to us. And uh, like I said, we hope that fight is announced very soon by the sounds of it from Frank Warren. It will be, and then uh, you can crack on with camp and go and rip that title from Parker. Yeah, 100%. No more talking from me, just strictly focus on one thing and getting that belt, bringing it back into the family. Top man, thank you very much.